All right, so guys, let's see if we can solve this equation here. This is out of 1.6. This is what we call a radical equation because we have that square root there. Um, so, okay, first thing I'm going to do, I need to get this piece right here by itself. I'm going to do that by adding 3 to both sides. So, this is going to leave me with the square root of 7x plus 8 equals 3x minus 16. Okay, what I need to do now is I need to go ahead and get rid of the square root, and I'm going to do that by squaring both sides. So I'm going to put parentheses here with a square, put parentheses here with a square. And so this square and that square root, guys, are just going to cancel each other out. They are opposite operations of each other. Okay? The best way to square this is actually to go ahead and write it out twice. Okay? So we have 7x plus 8 equals 3x and 3x is a 9x squared. 3x times negative 16 is a negative 48x. Negative 16 times 3x is another negative 48x. And negative 16 and negative 16 is a positive 256. Okay, so now the next thing I need to do here is uh, combine my like terms. So I have 7x plus 8 equals 9x squared. When I combine these two together, that's going to give me a negative 96x and a positive 256, okay? And then I'm going to go ahead and get rid of my 7x plus 8 by going minus 7x and minus 8 and minus 7x and minus 8 here. And that's going to leave me with, those are going to cancel, 0 equals 9x squared uh, minus 103 with an x and a positive 248. Okay, so guys, all I'm going to do is I'm going to write that on the next page here, okay? So now I have 9x squared uh, minus 103x plus 248 equals 0, okay? So the way I'm going to go ahead and solve this, because my equation is so big, I'm going to go ahead and use the quadratic formula, okay? So remember, I need to find my a, my b, and my c. So a is 9, b is a negative 103, c is a positive 248, okay? So I'm going to write out the formula, x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. Yeah, it's cheesy, but you know what? It's easy to remember, and that's the important part. Okay. Guys, my first step here, I'm going to do strictly plug. I'm not going to try to simplify anything. So negative of negative 103 plus or minus big square root negative 103 squared minus 4 times A times C all over 2 times A. Now I can start to simplify. So yes, Negative and negative is positive 103. Plus or minus. Okay, I'm going to take my calculator. I need to take 103 and square it. So let me take this here. 103 squared, 1069. Okay. 609, I'm sorry. Minus, I need to multiply those numbers there. 4 times 9 times 248. 4 times 9 times 248. 8928 okay all over 18 okay my next step guys i need to go ahead and subtract those numbers so let's do it to it 10609 minus 8928 1681 okay so uh, x equals 103, so I'll go to the next page, here we go, x equals 103 plus or minus the square root of 16, oops, 1681 all over 18. Now I'm going to take the square root of this number here, second square root of my answer, 41, okay, 
So 103 plus or minus 41 all over 18. Okay, we've gotten to the easy. That was the hard part, guys. Now we're going to do the easy part. 103 plus 41 over 18. And 103 minus 41 over 18. Okay. This is 144 over 18. And so if I take my calculator, 144 over 18. Oops, 144 divided by, excuse me, 18, 8. So my first answer is 8. Let's do our second answer. 103 minus 41. Okay, divide that by 18. Make it into an improper fraction. 31 over 9. Okay, so 31 over 9. So here are my two answers, okay? Now, I'm not quite done yet. I know we want to be done, and I want to be done too, but we're not, okay? What we need to do is we need to check our answers, okay? The two answers that we came up with were x equals 8, and we came up with, I think it was 31 over 9. Let me double check. Yes, those are the two answers. Okay, what I need to do is I need to check them. What I mean by check them is plug them into the original problem and see if they work. So 7 times 8 plus 8 minus 3 equals 3 times 8 minus 19. Okay. 7 times 8 is 56 plus 8 minus 3. Uh, 3 times 8 is 24 minus 19. So 56 plus 8 is 64 minus 3. The square root of 64 is 8. Minus 3, that's going to leave me with a 5 there. 24 minus 9 is also 5. Oops, also 5. So x equals 8 seems to check out. The one we need, still need to check out is 31 over 9. So not the prettiest number to check out, but I'm going to go ahead and check it out anyway. So the way I'm going to do that is right here. And we are checking out 31 over 9. Okay, again, not the prettiest number to check out, but it needs to be checked. Plus 8 minus 3 equals 3 times 31 over 9 minus 19. Okay, so let's see. <coughs> 7 times 31 is... Uh, let's see, 7 times 1 is 7, 7 times 3 is 21, 217 over 9, plus, I'm going to think of this as 8 over 1, so if I want to get a common denominator, my common denominator is going to be 9, right, so if I multiply this guy by 9, i got to multiply that one by 9, so there's a 9 here, 9 and 8 is 72, okay, minus 3, same, this 3 and that 9 can reduce, so I'm left with, 31 over 3 minus, I'm going to think of this over 1. I'm going to multiply that guy by 3 and that guy by 3. So that's a 3. 3 times 9 is 27. 3 times 1 is 3 plus 2 more is that. Okay. So I got 57. Okay. We're almost there. Don't worry. So now let's see if we can add these numbers together. 217 and 72. Guys, I'm just going to use my calculator. That I got here on my phone real quick. Let's see. 217 plus 72. 289. Okay. So now I got 289 over 9 minus 3 equals. Let's see. I'm going to take the square root of this guy right here. Okay. So let me actually show you how I'm going to do that. I'm going to go second square root of, I'm going to put parentheses, 289 divided by 9. And I'm just going to hit enter, and let's go math, make it a fraction, 17 over 3. Okay, so I'm just going to go to the next page where I have some room. So we have 17 over 3 minus 3 equals, what do we have on this page? Let's see, i got to subtract these numbers here. So 31 minus 57 is negative 26 negative 26 over 3. I don't know what the answer is going to be here, but we're going to check it out. 
So let me leave that over 1 times 3 times 3. 17 over 3 minus 9 over 3 is... 17 minus 9 is 8 over 3, and that is not the same thing as 26 over 3. Whew, that was a long check. So this answer here, 31 over 9, does not work. The only one that works is x equals 8. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so anyway, guys, that's the problem. 